Smoking Martha, In Deep, 10 tracks, 36 minutes. The debut album from the Queensland-based Five Piece, released independently in May 2017, recorded at Loose Stone Studios with producer Matthew uh, Bartlam, who I think did a couple of uh, bigger name Australian acts as well. Uh, two singles or videos have been released so far, Say Your Mind and What's Her Name. Jimmy. Uh, have we reviewed this band before, Andrew? Uh, Don't think we have. Maybe. Not. I thought we did. We may have because they played Wallapalooza, yes. so we featured, we put them as a part of the special and uh, the Wallapalooza episodes. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, there's a. I thought there was a lot of diversity on this al- on this release on this album. Mm. Um, big sound. I thought the production was pretty good. The singer Tasha, she's got a fine voice which suits the music really well. I do hear a lot of Gwen Stefani. And a bit of Susie DeMarchi in her yeah, vocals. Yeah, you're not the only one to pick up on that. Yeah, um, in her delivery. But she's a really good singer. Very good indeed. Uh, catchy songs. Another band worthy of commercial radio airplay, which, of course, we know they're not going to get. Mm-hmm. Um, not because they're no good, just because they're shit, the commercial radio. Assholes. Fuck Triple M. <laughs> good save, good save. Uh, <laughs> great rock and roll. Short album, 36 minutes, 10 mm. songs, which is really good because I don't have a long attention span, so it's good for me. I think more rock bands playing this sort of style of music should be doing that. Shorten it up. Go classic. Shorten it up. Yeah. Just whack them out, you know? Uh, I'd like to see them live, but I already have. Mm-hmm. I wrote that before I remembered that we saw them live at Wall of the Loser. <laughs> Yes, oh. very consistent album. I didn't really think there was a bad song on it. I quite enjoyed it. I gave it an 8 out of 10. My highlight song was a song called Baby Let Me Go. Nice. Yeah, I was pretty sure we did it before because I wrote, I'm not the biggest fan of Smoking Martha's music, but I do appreciate what they do. <laughs> I think we might have reviewed their EP yeah, before. I think it might sure. have been. Yeah. I appreciate what they do, but I'm not. it's not my preferred style. They're certainly good just not my preferred style of rock. Production's toned down compared to the other releases. Uh, <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> Production is toned down compared to the other releases that we have reviewed or are reviewing yeah. tonight. Yeah. But I like that. It's dynamic and everything's yeah. glued together really well. Um, not fucking too loud. So yeah. you can crank that shit without it clipping. Yep. That's what I like. I still lots haven't seen... Room, them. Yeah, lots of headroom. Yeah. Still haven't seen them live, so I need to unfuck that situation. It's Think a good album. I've seen it twice. Yeah, it's a good album, but it's not necessarily my thing. But with that said, seven and a half out of ten. Standouts are One Night, What's Her Name, and Stranger Things. Really okay. good tracks. Nice. Well, Tasha D, as Jimmy said, has one hell of a voice. Uh, but I like how she's got a unique tone and delivery about it. Yep. You t- you, the, those influences or references are there, but mm. she has her own blend of things. She does. Certainly a unique tone. Yeah. Production is really good. I, I enjoyed that. It's nice. Even it's rich. It allows the vocals to shine with proper support from the rest of the band. It's a dynamic listen as well, which is both songwriting and in, in production. Uh, real use of space to allow the sultry vocals to shine through, but there's some ball tearing riffs as well on here. The vocals and the lyrics are so fucking good, in my opinion. I really, that, that's captivating to me. Uh, and this album has a bit of everything. There's prog, jazz touches, great riffs, little subtle hints of pop, even just a hint of folk mm-hmm. in there as well. as little just subtle hints of things in there. But it's all meant in a positive way from what I'm saying. It mm. all works really well. It gels together. I love the ballad in the middle of the album. The strings are a nice addition to the album overall. That part of it as well. It's a nice little section there. And these guys are just as good live as they are on record in my opinion. Uh, you've got to check this out if you love smoke and hot female vocals pun intended uh, you have got to check out this this record because the vocals alone will sell mm-hmm. you in my opinion it's really good entertaining listen the production adds a nice element to the band and the writing and the performances are really good this is something that's just a little bit unique and I love finding albums that are just a little bit off to the side a touch again like I said before the use of space and writing is, is so well done and the performances too are so well crafted it's a bit of a somber listen, I thought. It wasn't really uplifting and mm. positive, but it's a bit of a, a darker yeah. tone to things. But I, I enjoy that sort of thing, generally speaking, so it was, it was cool. There's something also genuinely seductive in the listening experience for me. Mm-hmm. It's a real rock record that has a genuine, unique twist. It's a short, sharp, entertaining album, which is what you were talking about. And these songs have a knack for sticking in your mind as well. You'll go away and you'll hear the song playing through your mind 15 minutes later. Mm. Uh, if you get a chance to see them live, you really should. It's one of those ones that's hard to describe. Do yourself the proverb your favourite and check it out for yourselves. Make up your own mind. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Wow. To the stars, Ever the Tide, Baby Let Me Go, Find A Way, What's a Name and Stranger Things. I picked up about half the album there. <laughs> check it out for yourselves and give us your thoughts. Speak. <laughs>